So now I've showed you how to do a basic video in iMovie. And you might be thinking, wow, that's great. It's fantastic. Now I can go ahead and edit my movies. But what I'd like to show you is even though it's really quick and easy and it's just a matter of clicking and dragging and you've got some great effects, iMovie actually has some really powerful advanced tools built into it. And I'm not going to teach you all of them. I'm just trying to give you a good overview of iMovie and just to get you to understand the principle behind it. And then you can go ahead and have a look and, and play around knowing how things work. But before we do that, what we need to do is we need to just adjust some iMovie preferences. So just come up to iMovie in the menu bar and open the preferences. And what you want to do is you want to click on this checkbox for show advanced tools. This is under the general tab. And as you can see, it provides access to dual mode toolbar, keyword controls, cutaways, picture in picture, green screen, additional replace modes and chapter markers. So I'll say show advanced tools. And in fact, let me just take it off. And you'll see a few things that appear. We have a few options appearing up here. We also have a few options appearing down here. And we have a new option down here. So now one of the options we have is we can go ahead and select some video and we can assign keywords to it. So I'm going to let's go ahead and say wide angle and I'm just going to click the checkbox. So now you can see this little blue line above my video. Let me just move this out the way. Over the selection that I had, I checked it as being wide angle. So I can select another one and I can say people or pets. Obviously in this case it doesn't have those things, but I'm just showing you the principle how it works people or pets or whatever it is that you actually have in your shot. And you can assign multiple keywords. So I can say outdoor pets. And once it's applied, I can then open my keywords browser and I can select on the keyword I want and it will only show me the, the video corresponding to that keyword. I can go pets. So now I'm seeing both. I can see pets only or outdoor. So that's a, a nice way of managing a larger event library. So if you've gone and taken hours of video shoots, it's a, it's a quick way of going through and just grouping video together for later use within your videos. So I'm just going to hide the keyword browser. So now some of the more advanced controls we have with our video. Firstly, what we can do is we can double click on any video and it brings up this inspector. Now, this inspector gives us a lot of advanced options that we can edit our videos with, starting with some video effects and audio effects. So if you click on video effect, it'll sh you can see some video effects applied. So as you scrub through the thumbnail, you'll see it in the preview window. So I want to make mine aged film. And I can also speed it up. So I'm going to make this 200%. You can also smooth clip motion. Now that just requires a bit of analyzation. So it'll analyze it to see where it's perhaps a bit rocky and it'll attempt to make it smooth. All right. And then we have this option to reduce motion distortion. So again, it'll attempt to reduce any distortion that you get in your picture as the camera moves around. You won't always see a difference when you apply these effects. You only want to use them if you know, if you can actually see that you have a problem with either clip motion or, or, or motion distortion. You can also choose the amount, the intensity that it applies. And then under the video tab, we have some picture adjustments that we can do for our video. So we can adjust exposure. We can adjust levels. 
So really some quite professional options that we have within a $15 application. We can adjust the brightness, contrast, all the standard picture settings that you would get. And you can also revert to original or do an auto where it will attempt to find the best settings for you. And then we can also go to audio and adjust audio. Now in my case, I don't have any audio because I removed the audio from my video when I added my soundtrack. But if you had kept the audio, you can adjust the volume. You can add some fade ins, fade outs. You can even adjust the equalizer. So there's a lot of professional options that you have available to yourself over here. So I'll just click done. So now I've added an effect to my video and I've sped it up a little bit. So I'll just play it back and see what it looks like. So there you go, looking really good. Again, in a manner of minutes, I've added some really good looking effects and made some really good edits. Now there's still some more options we have available to us that you probably wouldn't be aware of unless you saw someone show you. And that is you can select a video clip and drag it on top of another video clip in your project and then some more options become available. So there's a bunch of standard options, but then there's some more professional options that I think a lot of you will find handy and you would love to have when you're editing videos, but probably just assume you didn't have the ability to do it. And so for example, I can choose picture in picture and you'll see now it displays my video that I dragged on top of the original video in the corner. So I can select that and you can see it in the top right hand corner and I can just select this box and I can drag it around my video. I can select it in the corner and I can drag it bigger or smaller. I can even double click on it. So under, under the inspector, under the clip, I can now add video effects as before on top of this little picture, but I can also add a border to my picture a thin border or a thick border. I can change the color of the border. I can add a drop shadow. And then again, you can edit the video with all the original video editing tools that you would have had. So now you have this really cool picture in picture effect just by clicking and dragging one video clip on top of another one. So as you can see with iMovie, Apple has found a way to bring simple video editing, click and drag and drop, no difficult settings, no difficult tweaking. They've managed to bring the easiness and simplicity of that and merged it with some complex video editing, some good effects to enable average users to have really good professional videos, either for home use or for small business, um, just for, you know, even for memories, it's just a great tool and your, your end result will be something that you'll be very, very happy with.